Energy production and conservation is always a hot topic at a forum like Davos. From its humble beginnings, Ryzen Energy, based in Nimbo in China, has now risen to number seven in the world of solar energy production. Its five-year plan is to rise up to number three. I'm here in Davos to speak to Ryzen's president ahead of the World Economic Forum. Welcome to the business debate. Wong Hong, thanks very much indeed uh, for joining us. Let's talk about your company. You really started shifting towards solar panels big time in 2006. A lot has changed since then. What, what's the stage? What stage is your company at now? Uh, actually, for Rising, we started the cell and the module business in 2006. Now we rank the number seven in the world. We last year we shipped four gigawatt worldwide for solar cells and the panels. Give us an idea of four gigawatt. What does that represent? It's actually last year total uh, worldwide installation is uh, around uh, 100 gigawatt. Actually, four gigawatt means four percent of a total installation worldwide. That's a lot more energy than people would think coming from solar generation. Yes, of course. And you can take, compared to 10 years ago, more and more solar was used worldwide, and more and more region can get uh, greater parity. That means you can compare to, compatible with the traditional fuels of energy. And with the sales, there must be a, a lot of attention paid to keeping up with the technology because that technology develops quite quickly as well. The, the panels you make now must be very different from the ones you made 10 years ago. Yes, of course. Uh, from the material point of view, it's all the same. Also the silicone, glass, aluminum, and the back seat. But efficiency has changed a lot. In the 10, 10 years ago, when panels only have 200 watt, but now it's uh, 380. For the same area, you can uh, generate more power, much more power than 10 years ago. Many people think of solar panels as being a difficult sell, trying to persuade people to, to use solar energy rather than rely on the traditional fossil fuel power that they're used to. Is that becoming an easier sell now in China and also in your other offices around the world? Yes, I think for solar, uh, application in the world, it's uh, uh, two generations. In the first generation, it's a subsidiary by government. It's uh, all the income, most of the income so come from the subsidiary from government. We call it FIT, the feeding tariff. So um, based on this uh, subsidiary, it's uh, economic. But I think in the next 10 years, it could be uh, economic uh, competitive. It can um, economic feasible in more and more regions. People understand solar panels, they regard them as something benign, something friendly, but of course it has to make economic sense for people to take them up en masse, doesn't it? Uh, yes, I think uh, thanks to the contribution for Chinese panel manufacturer, for the panel price compared to uh, 10 years ago, it already dropped one tenth of the, uh, the price cost. So I think the next uh, several years, due to the technical innovation and also the skill from manufacturer, the cost of steel drop, and more and more region can be greater parity. That means compared to this is the uh, uh, same as uh, the fuels of energy. As far as RISE is concerned, what's the concentration now on improving the technology? What's your focus on R&D? Yes, our f uh, focus is one is for sale, for the efficiency. Because the same material, if you can generate more power, then you can get cheaper uh, for dollar dollar per watt. And also, we um, also uh, uh, make some investigation for the whole system. Because uh, for solar system, not only the solar panels, you still need some inverter and uh, structure. We have to combine this component together. Uh, this is also very important. So we invest some project worldwide to to test what kind of combination is the best, how to lower the cost, not only by the solar panels. And that's risky. Projects involve investment, a much slower rate of return for your investment, so, but very valuable for you in terms of research and development. So that's quite a balancing act for a, a growing company. Yes, of course, for solar project investment, you need a lot of money to initial investment. Uh, it uh, need a lot of asset in the beginning and payback in in seven to eight years, 
but uh, with the development progressing, we will try to to uh, optimize our balance sheet. If you have the capacity, we will uh, capability, we will invest some project, and also of course we can make this project uh, asset. It uh, it can be sold and can be can be moved quickly. We can sold it out and and then build another. And what about storage? The big story with electric cars, of course, is that if you want to drive a long way, you run out of power. Yeah. Uh, the storage is, is, is surely the part of the technology that is struggling to keep up with the advances. Yeah, I think uh, solar plus storage is kind of a future for energy supply. But for storage system, it also dropped a lot in recent years, but uh, still need a long way to go. Actually, in China, also in you know, one city, I think, I we, we I saw that uh, several gigawatt manufacturers built there. I think uh, that will be lower the cost in the future. Also, is the technology there? Do we understand what we need to do to create more storage for power? Uh, yes, I think there is a lot of innovation in this area. Some is chemical storage, some is uh, physical, also compressed air, a lot of ways that's the final ways to store the energy in the future. Uh, I think due to the so much uh, scientists contribution to this energy and also it's a trend to to reserve the storage. Uh, I think this will be getting cheaper and cheaper and a new way will be found out in the future. A huge part of your business is still sales, 60%, I guess, sales, moving products uh, to clients around the world. And that's a profit motive. But is there another vision, uh, another mission for your company? Uh, so our mission is to, to use green energy to change people's life. Actually, for green energy, of course, solar is the main green energy. And also, uh, besides the solar, also storage is the future. Uh, because in the future, solar plus storage is a, a way to solve the energy supply problem. So we do a lot of R&D uh, for the technical uh, in solar, and also we just involved solar in recent years. We hope that uh, this technical innovation can uh, make people, uh, can, can make the solar affordable for more and more people. And also, of course, it's a, use solar energy can change the people's life, more clean, clean air and uh, clean energy. People talk about alternative energies. They generally mm. welcome them. Mm. There are many different kinds mm. that people understand. There's solar. Mm. Uh, obviously, there's wind power, wave power, mm. hydroelectric mm. as well. Different ways of generating energy. Do you think all these ways are valid? We're looking at a mixed future, or do you think that solar is the most effective? Uh, solar has some advantage. Actually, you can get the solar everywhere. Actually, in the rooftop, the ground mount, actually everywhere you, you have a sunshine. If there's sunshine there, you can get the solar. And also, uh, for solar generator, we only manufacture the uh, solar harvester. Actually, for the solar energy, actually for sunshine, you pay, pay nothing. So it's a very good advantage to be cost effective. But for other alternative energy, actually need a special resource in different regions. Uh, some regions you don't have a strong wind to support, you build a, a solar mill. But uh, some regions, if for hydro, also some impact to our environment. So I think solar they have a very huge potential in the future. We could see it changing people's lives if we had enough time. But one thing that's going to focus minds here in Davos, for example, is the emissions crisis now. It's, it's becoming an identifiable, high priority crisis. Do you think, in terms of alternative energy, that we're in time to save the day? Yes, I think it's never too late to, to change the, uh, the way of people living. Also, I think European, there was a lot of people just uh, already uh, pay more attention for the environmental protection. And now, in the Paris Code and uh, Climate change also is appealed by a lot of countries. I think that we will have a good outside environment for the people to use solar, because solar is clean energy. Let's hope so. Wang Hong, thanks very much indeed. Thank you, Matt. Thank you.